Good morning. It is Tuesday the 14th. I came over uh, yesterday uh, afternoon to my daughter's house in Mount Vernon. I'm coming back home today. The young adults are coming over to our house to ride horses and go swimming. So I'm doing, uh, I'm going to do a couple videos here today. Uh, Stacy's going to be off Thursday and Friday and she always uploads them so I'm going to record two of them right here on the porch and the first one uh, that you'll get today which is Tuesday it's it you know what I've tried to do now is I've tried to do my devotions in preparation to kind of give you some flavoring so what we're going to talk about on Sundays the Sunday messages we had uh, 50 people view the 9 a.m. traditional worship online last week and we had 19 do the 11 o'clock and then we had about 80 something like that 80 people in worship uh, so we we're doing good for John Knox uh, 70 online and 80 in-house, 150 people uh, on viewing. That's good. So God's increasing our numbers. Uh, we're back inside. Praise team is back for the 11 o'clock service, and I think the choir, uh, choir won't be back for a little bit, but thanks for all your prayers for our church family and everything. So this Sunday, the message is called Life by the Spirit. Obviously the Spirit is the Holy Spirit. Paul makes a turn in his letter to the Christians in the Galatians area. The first four chapters Paul was arguing or providing a defense that faith alone believing in God alone was all that was required to be included in the body of Christ. Ah, doesn't that feel good? Doesn't matter how well I do at work or if I have a bad day or a bad year, it doesn't matter whether I make $10,000 a year or Two million. God still loves me the same. Actually, I was reading an article this morning. The average. You hear the cars going by. The average wage in India for a person is two thousand two hundred and twelve dollars a year. The average income in the United States for all sectors is 66,000 and some odd dollars. So big uh, big companies like Google and uh, things like that want to want their fair share of the India market because over half of people in India aren't on the internet. But sidebar. Uh, so the point is is that God was saying you're free to be a child of God by believing. And he, and we've covered what his argument was in the last two weeks. So in chapter five, he turns the corner and he says, okay, yes, you're free by believing. Now, I want to talk to you about another topic. The other topic is just because you're free and whether you sin or you don't sin, you're going to make it to heaven. I'm trying to wait for the cars to go by. Busy road that my daughter lives on. Uh, here's how I want you to live your life by the Spirit. And in chapter 5, I'll start at verse 13, Galatians chapter 5, verse 13. You, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free. And here's the turning point. But do not use your freedom 
to indulge the flesh. Rather, serve one another humbly in love. For the entire law is fulfilled in keeping this one commandment. The law, again, is the Ten Commandments. So the entire law, all the things <clears throat> that we can do to live like a good Christian. He says, love your neighbor as yourself. We read some of these scriptures in the staff meeting this week. And uh, it seems so simple to love your neighbor as yourself. But it can be so hard. Oh. It's, it seems peaceful though, doesn't it? Love your neighbor as yourself. So that's what I'm going to think about today. When I go to the store and I don't get what I want on time or someone is driving slow in front of me or I call up a bank or try and get someone to help service me on something in my life they don't do it like I want them to or as fast or they don't have the information I, I'm just going to say how can I love them how would I want someone to treat me if I was having a hard day uh, today so I'm going to try and think about that I pray that you think about that God bless you uh, it's great to be the family of John Knox Presbyterian Church God loves us have a great day bye bye